We pick up our Bible study today in Hebrews chapter 1, verse 13. The author of Hebrews quotes Psalm 110.1 in raising the question, if God has ever called any of the angels to, as the New King James Version states, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. And I believe the following verse, Psalm 110, verse 2, is just as important in our understanding of the preaching of the author of Hebrews. It states from the New International Version, The Lord will extend your mighty scepter from Zion, saying, Rule in the midst of your enemies. As was the rule of King David, being in constant battle as he built and secured the kingdom of Israel from its enemies, as we can learn from 1 Samuel verse 16 through all of 2 Samuel, King, Je King Jesus was constantly bombarded by his adversaries who were seeking to destroy him. We see this in Matthew 27 verse 20 and an example in John chapter 7 verse 19. By submitting himself to death, even death on the cross, the most horrible way to die, and not being deserving of death because he was found to be without sin, Jesus gave sin and death what it was not able to devour, a sinless death that in itself, in Christ, devoured sin, death, and Satan, which was the reason why Jesus died a sinless death, to devour, conquer, and defeat it once for all. We learn this in Romans 6.10. And in defeating sin, death, and Satan, Jesus was raised to the right hand of God above the angels. The Apostle Paul proclaims in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 54 through 58, reading from the English Standard Version, when the perishable puts on the imperishable and the mortal puts on immortality, then shall come to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? Those are quoted from the Old Testament, books of Isaiah, chapter 25, verse 8. Also in the New Testament, Hebrews, chapter 2, verse 14. And in Revelation, chapter 20, verses 14, and chapter 21, verse 4. And Hosea, chapter 13, verse 14 in the Old Testament. This is the victory that is found only in Christ Jesus. This is the victory that places Jesus at the right hand of God. As Jesus rules in the midst of his enemies, we too live in the midst of our enemies. We cannot overcome our adversary, the devil, on our own, but Jesus defeated the devil for us so that we may be able, through Christ Jesus, to overcome the trials and temptations of the devil as we live in the midst of our enemies. We all face these trials and temptations, but Jesus has promised to be with us always through his Holy Spirit, which he promised to all who will receive him. We know this from John chapter 14, verses 15 through 18, verses 23 through 24, 26 and 27, and also in John chapter 16, verse 33. Dear Lord, Jesus swallowed up sin, death, and Satan in his victory over them while in the midst of them. When you sent Jesus into this world, you didn't prevent sin, death, and Satan from attacking him. You sent him into the midst of it to conquer it for all so that all who will believe in him should not perish to the depths of sin but have everlasting life in him. Please open our eyes to see the truth and saving power of the one who sits forever at your right hand, the one who saved the world from sin and grants forgiveness to all who will believe in him. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.